Hey BBs, it's Max and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce, y'all. I just saw y'all, like, in my time, like, five minutes ago, um, I opened these dolls on, on camera. I did a haul of the LOL tweens and baby brat Sasha, and, um, I want to open them with you guys today. I'm really excited about opening these dolls. I have been thinking about these dolls ever since I pre-ordered them, or I ordered them on Target, like, a little bit ago, like a week ago, maybe I ordered them and they kind of came in and I kind of been out and about and it's been like, da, 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 da. but they're here now and I'm sitting with you guys now. And we're going to Google chat. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to open these dolls because I love dolls and I'm going to open these ones. I've been excited about these dolls kind of since like they started coming out. I've been, um, not, I mean, not like the most excited about them because like the tweens, like I always prefer the OMG dolls besides the tweens, but like I'm excited about these now and they're here and you know, we're all excited. Um, and I do want to say like, I just filmed that haul. Um, I put on a fake sweat, a different sweatshirt because I'm fake like that. This is the Bratz one from Ross or TJ Maxx or some discount store, and it has be and I never get to wear it because it's like it's like a stain on it a little bit. I'm gonna be exposed, y'all. Like I don't know where that came from. It's like a stain. And I can't get it out. I've I've tried spot cleaning it multiple times. Um, I don't know. It's like a makeup stain, but I, I can't get it out. Um, but I feel really excited. I haven't worn this in a minute, and it's really it's really sparkly and really fun. Um. Um, yeah, and I did, again, just film that haul video, and I switched my sweatshirt, because I still have energy to film right now, but I didn't want to make a 40-minute video of me opening tweens and, like, opening the box, and, like, it was just too much, so I'm sorry if I, um, made y'all wait for this video, um, and if you were waiting, this is gonna be nothing special, again, we're just sitting down, cool chatting, and we're opening dolls, I just wanted to space it out a little bit, because it's, like, you know... I don't have any ideas for videos anymore, so like any idea, I will make it. But um, the first one we're opening is actually not any tween. I want to open this baby brat Sasha first because this doll has something on her cheek and it's making me very nervous. It could be mold, so I want to open her and if I can get it off and I can clean it off um and like scrub it off with soap, um, I'm, we're gonna be fine and she's gonna stay in the collection. But if not, we're gonna have to return her to Target, which makes me really really sad because she's super cute. Like, in the face, she's like a little darling little diva, but I'm I'm scared of mold in my house. I think it might just be a scuff from packaging, but I am still nervous about it. Did want to grab- I took a couple pictures of this doll in her box, because I thought she looked really cute in the box, and I love the boxes. But I also wanted to grab my Bratz Babies Chloe, because, again, this doll has been my doll for the past, like, month. Like, I'm not even joking when I say, like- Ever since I got this doll, she's been with me. I didn't take her on my vacation, to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of lying. But, like, she's just been, like, my favorite doll. So, I want to have her here as we open up her sister. Um, and I will give y'all, like, again, a close-up look at the end of the video of all the dolls and everything that we opened today. I just want to open them with you guys on my bed because this is where I'm most comfy. And I lost my scissors. They're right here on my TV stand. Every time I open up uh, dolls, anytime, anywhere, I always lose something. And I never can find my scissors. I'm really scared of this doll, actually. I don't want any mold in my house. Again, I have to say that probably, like, 30 times. Like, drinking challenge right now. Drink a shot. Or take a shot. Drink a shot. Take a shot every time I say something about losing something or mold or Bratz Baby. Because you will be gone by the end of the video. Um, but, but the Bratz Baby's boxes are always so cute. And I feel so bad, like, opening them. Because, like, they're kind of like little artworks and, like, time capsules in a way of, like... This is, it feels like 2000, I wasn't, I was born 2004. I was fully born. I was born when these were born. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Bratz baby. I'm a Bratz baby. Okay, let's do the, okay, it was, I don't know what, okay, it wasn't on the actual doll. It wasn't mold. It, it was just like something on her face. I don't know what that, it was like a flurry or, or something from the factory maybe. Um, or maybe something, because like the, the boxes have holes in them. Sorry if it seemed like I'm super paranoid about mold. Usually I am not super, I mean like I am, because like, Part of my childhood doll collection had mold on them from, like, being in the storage and stuff. And, like, restoring them took me, like, half a... Like, the six months. Like, it took me from, like... Honestly, like, even, like, in December of 2020 to, like... I think I got them all cleaned up by, like, July of 2021, maybe? I might be, like, lying about that. It might have been earlier than that. But, like, it took me so much time to, like clean off the mold because I, I soaked all of them in bleach I had to like do like stain removal on so many of my dolls and um they're all good now everyone's clean everyone's stain removed everyone is mold free like my collection y'all I promise y'all is mold free but whenever it comes to like any any little itty bitty 
idea of mold coming into the collection it horrifies me so much because i spend so much money on my dolls and it like the mold won't just affect the one doll it'll affect every doll and it'll affect your living conditions i don't like mold mold scares me i don't know if i need to like give y'all a tangent on why i hate mold i feel like we can all just hate mold and it not be a thing but i am a little bit paranoid of it because again mj products in like the past couple years have started to have mold on them like i remember there was one time uh not one time <laughs> but like there's a one post on instagram and twitter i'm gonna open this doll as i continue to talk there was, like, the Junior High 5-pack that was, like, the Walmart exclusive, um, like, Black Friday sale for, like, 2022, was it? They, they, there's been multiple sightings of that pack having mold on them. And I know somebody said that, like, MGA doesn't, like, do the best with, like, shipping or exporting the products. Because, obviously, the products aren't made in America. Um, so, like, sometimes, like, the ships, like, if things aren't sealed correctly and sometimes things just happen and, like... I don't know, there's always a possibility of, like, something happening in transportation or factory or whatever of mold kind of coming in to, um, the products, and, like, obviously there's multiple pictures and multiple re- I don't know if there's anything recalled or anything, but, like, the tw like the, the MGA, like, Junior High Five Pack, like, they had, like, there's multiple of those dolls with mold on them, and, like, there's been other MGA dolls, like, Rimba High, that have had mold on them in stores, and, again, that was a very long rant of- my doll is clean, <laughs> but, um, perhaps maybe Sasha's out of the box, but, yeah, MJ doesn't have the best track history with it, I don't know if Mattel has had any sightings of mold on their new products, like, in-store products, um, but I do always check that, regardless, whenever I'm getting dolls, at in-store, online, whatever that he is, secondhand as well, be very, very careful, y'all, secondhand dolls, I know it's kind of getting to flea market season, at least in America, it's getting warmer out, Flea market is going to be a thing. I'm so excited for flea market season. Like, Macari, like, all the drama. Like, make sure your dolls are clean. Make sure they're sanitary. My my personal PSA has been four minutes of this. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Here's Ratsu V. Sasha. She is so cute and patootie. And she's all good. Look at her next to her best friend. Uh, I love them. I love, love, love these. These are, like, some of my favorite Bratz characters. I also really like Jade. I don't know. Like, I like Yasmin. Like, Yasmin's fine. She's just always there. So, I'm kind of sick of her. But, like, I love my girls. Oh, I'm so excited to get the rest of the line. It's so fun to have two of them now. Again, this her eye's a little bit funky. But don't look too hard at it. She's cute. Uh, no lip chips or anything. Look, look at these dolls. I love them. I love, love, love them. And then we have more. We have, like, the little, like, bunny boo thing. MGA's little pet shop bag was really getting serious with this one. It's, like, flocked, though. I do have Chloe's as well. Um... Ah, they're so cute i love these that's so bad and then there is also the blanket um which i don't know where my chloe's blanket went i think i just threw it in a drawer oh this one's double-sided orange and blue Ooh, i don't know if chloe's did that did chloe's do that did they all do that and i just missed it oh my god i gotta go check now that's really embarrassing this is cool okay again for 12 dollars, y'all she eats like i'm sorry like she's eating she's feasting she has like again like a little like jewelry thing that's like a little like chain there's like a crop top a diaper she has uh, a mug on the mug is stamped the hair is done like she has earrings like she has posability like this is the doll like i don't know um she's painted nails too i forgot should they paint she, we're matching we both have red nails Ugh, I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna get the rest of the line. Okay, we're, we're halfway there, y'all. Okay, we're halfway there. We're being normal about the rats' babies, but I could squeeze them with both hands now. So, so we could squeeze rats' babies twice now. So, okay, the first doll is out of the way. We have three more to do. Mm, I don't want to open them anymore. I'm so sick of this. Okay, I think I'm gonna open my fleecer first, and we're gonna go from there. I want to save maybe the best for last, but I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's Cora. I don't know if that's Fashy Pixie Girl Billy yet. I would tell y'all to vote, but this is a pre-recorded video and not a live stream. Who should I open? Okay, we're gonna open this one first because I want to open her first. Um, and I also do have my other one out of box kind of here hanging out with us as well. Her name is Bailey, and I do have a full review on her if y'all are really curious. I think everyone's seen these dolls by now. I don't think anyone's really gagging over like, what are my thoughts on the LOL surprise, tween surprise, da 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 da. Um, Again, I got mine. I think I said that in my other video. I can film it the same day so things aren't fully processing. These dolls were all $7. Every single one of the, the other three I got for $7.99 from Target's website. I think they were also on sale on Amazon for $7.99. And if I have any sort of um, confirmation of them still being $7.99 when this video gets posted, I will make sure that is in the description with an affiliate link to help out the channel. Um, I don't really do affiliate. I haven't, like, I don't really buy that many dolls that are, like, 
worth doing affiliate links for anymore, so I don't really do them, but, like, I'll try to post them whenever I do, because, um, yeah, how do I open these again? I think I cut all the tape off of them. Oh, I have, like, rip it open. Okay. I love the, I still love the tween boxes. Like, this is so cute and, like, if I was an inbox collector and if I actually really cared about that and, like, if I had the storage for these, these would so be so much more cuter in box. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is, like, wait, I kind of, I kind of want to keep them in box now. No, I don't want, I don't want to. I, I do not have the space to have an inbox collection. Like, I have, like, a couple dolls in box right now and it's already too much space. Like, I do not have the space for them, but, like, they're just so cute. Like, like they have like a little like picture frame and like there's like a little like cardboard cutout and like, uh, I wish I had the space for it. I don't. I don't also have the, I don't have the motive. But the only ones that I really would care to keep in box is like Monster High and Bratz. And like I have some OMGs and like one Rainbow High Junior High doll in box. But like, I just, I don't have, I'm not that girl. I'm, I need to, I need to bite my, I need to take the doll and I need to put her head in my mouth and I need to suck on the doll's head. Like that's the doll collector I am. Like I get, crate like I, my dolls go outside not that they don't always go outside with me but they like they go they go out of the box i'm like and i'm like sid from toy story a little bit sometimes like and this is like the perfect doll to be sid from toy story with because you just like take her head off and like that's like the purpose of it like usually like i'll take the head off sometimes like if i have to do like a boil like a intricate like when do i take the heads off if i have to do a body swap sometimes like I'll, obviously you take the head off or like if it's if something's like a clothing piece is very hard to get on, like I'll take the head off for it. Like especially MGA dolls are super easy. You just gotta squeeze the head down and they kind kind of come off. But this one's like you can like in it's encouraged to take the head off, and I feel like I'm vindicated in that. So oh my god, she's so cute. I I didn't like this doll for a while actually, but she's kind of better. In, in my I lost a shoe. Don't know how we lost the shoe. Is it in, it's in the packaging? This is gonna. I'm sorry, y'all. This is already nine minutes. This is gonna be a long video. Look at how cute she is. She's so darling. Oh, she's a bang. Ooh, she got a bang. Oh, yeah. I don't... That's a lot better than that. That's gonna... She might give a little scene with it, y'all. Oh, Her hair's very intricate as well. The, the braid's kind of coming undone, but... That's okay. We can fix that. We just gotta hide it or cut it or something. But her hair's soft out of the box. I'm kind of surprised by that. And she's really nice little things. Oh, she's so darling. She's... Oh, she's a clothing under it, too, as well. Oh, yeah, she's taking it down. And it's kind of a mess, though. Like, the ruffles are kind of coming done on the sock, and the shoes are very, like, slippery on this doll. Like, they're not molded on super tightly, to be honest. Like, even, like, with this sock, it just kind of, like, falls off a little bit. So if y'all get this one, her name is, what, Winnie? I think they call her name. Be careful with her shoes and her socks, y'all. But she's really darling. Uh, her face is so darling. I did, Again, I don't think she's my favorite or anything. I want to take her head off to see. How do we do this again? I just gotta, like, pop it off, right? Yeah, you just gotta, like, squeeze it off. I wanna see what the other one's head looks like. Because I think I'm a little bit more fonder of this head, to be honest. Maybe, potentially. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I kind of, like, love, like, a, like a good, like, blonde girl with pink highlights. Like, that's kind of what the original... Do the, do the different heads have... Yeah. Words. Do the different heads have... Do the different heads have different names is kind of my question right now. Cause what's her name? Cause this is this both is this both Winnie or is her name like Tiffany or something? Okay, okay, we just ripped it off. But like like again, like the common like little like head stand. Her hair is much thicker. Oh, it's metallic nylon though. I don't like metallic nylon. It's just kind of like stiff and like it's thicker for some reason, and it kind of like looks like shit sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Like, compare, again, it's not, like, if y'all not, like, a big doll person like that, if y'all don't care about doll hair, like, it's not that, it's not that noticeable, but, like, sometimes, like, metallic nylon, nylon looks like a Party City wig. Y'all kind of catch my drama. But I like her head a lot better, I think. I think I like this face a little bit better. They're both very different, though, so it's kind of hard. They're, ver they're very different, but they're also very similar. I also, like, love the eye sparkle that comes on the extra doll's heads, because these ones are just kind of, like, normal tween's heads, but these ones are a little bit more fancy and special. Um, so what you gotta do is you gotta, like, just rip it off, I think. You just gotta be careful, and you can rip it off. And you snap it back on. Oh, I don't know if I like the, the outfit with her, though. I know they have, like, different outfits. Like, if you, like, take, like, this plastic piece off, and, like, there's, like, a mini dress under it. I don't know if I, like, I kind of want this dress to be on display, because it's so frilly and pretty. Mmm, I don't know. How do y'all, what do y'all think about this head? Y'all also do, okay. I need to ask this question so bad, because I've had the other doll's head under my desk for, like, since I got, like, Christmas time, like, I got this doll in, like, December, I opened her in January, and her head, like, that extra head that I don't use has been under my desk 
what do y'all do with the extra heads? Like, do y'all display that? I don't know if I like this head with this. Yeah, I don't like this this outfit together with the, the hair. I kind of wish this was, like, blonde instead, to be honest. I love blonde hair, y'all. Um, but the face is really cute. I like, like the eyeliner kind of, too, as well. Um, what do y'all do with the heads, though? Do you, like, do y'all display the heads? Because, like, I need something to do with these heads. Because, like, they're too cute to just, like, have them shoved in a bin under my bed. But, like, how do I display this? You know? Like, what do I do with this? And she does have extra accessories with this doll. I don't know if I feel like opening them right now. But there's, like, a bow. There's, like, a little, like, belt. Th no, this is, a, like, a sash. Her stand is somewhere? Where is the stand at? I was, yeah, so there's a stand under here. So you gotta, like, rip it out a little bit to get to the stand. Oh, there's also more stuff? Wait. I have her, I don't have the stand part of it, though. Oh, no, it's all... You gotta, like, rip it apart. It's, like, right here. It's, like, blends in, though, very well. So, again, with the Winnie one, be careful of, like, losing the stand because it's, like, almost clear, kind of. Um, but she does have two different stand clips. One fell on the floor. Um, but this one is just kind of, like, shoved on here. I do like that they started doing that, to be honest. I think that was very, very, very cute. I do miss already the tweens not having stands in the new releases. Again, I'm not really, I don't really like the designs enough to buy them anyway. But like these little itty bitty stands were just so cute. Like I love a mini doll stand. It's like so fun and so cute. Oh, she does also have like the fun little, the new, the new hand thing. She has a peace sign. Like, are you kidding me? How, like, you just have like a cute little peace sign. Oh, I love her. She's a darling doll. I think I'm gonna open the next one. Uh, or should I go? I want to actually see what this... I'm just going to be annoying now. Because I want to see what the accessories look like on her. I'm going to put this bow on this one's my head, maybe? I don't know. I don't know why they gave her another... Like, she already has a bow here. And she has, like, a bow on this one, too. So, like, I don't really know what this bow is for, to be honest. Like, this looks awful. Like, I don't get this, to be honest. But, um... I can use it for another doll, maybe. Maybe perhaps maybe Sasha can get it. Oh, she also has a tiara. This one... I'm gonna break it. It's a cute little tiara. I may maybe this one go on her. Okay, tiara. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move on. There's a lot of accessories to look at, and I'll do that at my desk anyway. So like we don't have to be bored right now. We're looking at all the accessories. I think the next one. Oh yeah, but here's like more for. Okay, I can. <laughs> we're gonna move on, and then I show you guys something different. I like little cards though as well. I think the cards are always fun. I love like little like physical media like this with dolls, where it's like. Like a little, like, collectible, like, card or something. I don't know. It's just paper. It's nothing... Car it's not cardstock. It's just whatever. I do have too many. I have... Like, I bought, again, most of the OMG dolls. I have... Um, I think I'm pretty much up to date with most of them now. I got series, what? Eight now? I know. I don't have some... The BFF series is the ones that I'm lacking on and some of the playset dolls. But I mostly complete on, like, the big lines of OMG. So I have a lot of the pamphlets. Like, I've been collecting these dolls since 2021, like, springtime. Like... It's about to be, oh my god, it's about to be like three years of collecting these dolls, oh my god. Are you, for, like, three years is a long time. Oh my god. So, like, three years of just, like, doll paper. Like, every, if every single one of them has these little things, I just have, like, a stack of them. Um, and they're all, they're not in one spot anymore. They used to all be in, like, this little, like, cob cabinet, like, that had, like, doll clothes and stuff in it. But I outgrew that space, and I have not updated putting them in there anymore. So, they just kind of live in, like, a different drawer. And they're all spread out, and they're all lost, so... Let's move on to the next one. I'm just going to do this one because I open, I grabbed her first. This is Billy. I think we will be saving her for last because I am really excited about her as well. I can't decide who is my favorite. I know this one again. Out of the whole line, this one's my favorite. But like out of the ones that I have today, I don't, it's either Billy or Cora. Um, let's get into this doll again. I think I said that this doll kind of reminds me of Billie Eilish from Happier Than Ever. Like the second head. But she more reminds me of the Bratz Fashion Pixies line. Which is a very special honor to have because I love the Bratz Fashion Pixies movie and the vibe and the dolls and I want to hopefully get reproductions of those Bratz Fashion Pixies maybe. Um, I think there's a kind of a community cry about if the Bratz dolls would ever get um, f the the fairy fantasy dolls reproduced but um, I would be down for it. I'm kind of down for anything with Bratz right now but um, I definitely love like the vibe of Fashion Pixies and I think the style is currently very trendy like like this is very like that to me. It's very like fun and f fit fantasy oh she has a lot going on in this outfit i thought that was a shirt but yeah her box is kind of i think it's the kind of the same vibe no her they're the same kind of pink to no the, they don't this one's a lighter pink but her kind of vibe is like 
I don't know where she's at. She's at like a, a ballroom, maybe? I don't know. Is it like a masquerade ball? Oh, I never got the masquerade tweens. Did anybody get the mask? Did anybody buy the masquerade tweens? I just realized I literally said I was going to buy those dolls and I never did. <laughs> like, you know, like the Alice in Wonderland tween doll, like the masquerade tweens? <laughs> never bought those ones. Did anybody buy those? There's a boy one in there, right? His name's like Max or something. I opened her poster first, so that's cool. Oh my god, this reminds me of that though a little bit. Like, this reminds me of the LOL tweens. Like, were they Walmart exclusive? I never saw them in store, I don't think. Or maybe I saw them like once or twice. Like, but y'all, if y'all remember, y'all remember the LOL surprise tweens that like had the masks and stuff. Like, they had like all those accessories. Like, they were like $30 though, or 20 something, 26 maybe, 27. Um, I just never got around to getting them, but, um, this reminds me a lot of those dolls, and I completely forgot about those dolls. And now I feel really embarrassed that I never even, like, thought to, like, buy them. I feel like I'm, like, a... Because usually I'm a completionist when it comes to, like, these dolls, but, like, yeah. I just never saw them again. Um, but she kind of has that vibe of, like, very, like, she's going to a party, and she's kind of, like, still, like, stylish. She's still, like, you know, doing her own thing, because I didn't realize this doll... Oh, my God, she's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Wait, she has like things on her earring or something. Okay, there's something very weird going on with her earrings. How do I just describe it? How do I show you guys? Um, these are those like plastic things that like are connected to them. Oh my god, hello? I'm v I don't know as how maybe I did not watch a review on this doll, because I don't remember anybody ever mentioning this thing. But she has like these little like pearly little hoop earrings which are so classy, and but like they're also like very like current and trendy and like they can be dressed up dressed down maybe oh my god i love her she might be my favorite actually seven dollars as well like 7.99 eight dollars technically okay um her hair is very gel like this is a very like brick helmet down yeah i don't her hair is much more slick back though than i remember again it is very gelled in the back it looks like it was kind of like in a ponytail and like someone like took the ponytail out maybe so, but like if you like fluff it out a little bit and you could like get like it like wait you gotta like you gotta work with it a little bit. You gotta, like... Man, is there is there a brush on this doll? Do these dolls have brushes? They have these little combs. I don't like these little combs. They, they don't do anything for me. But she has little bangs. She has little bangs. Uh, look at this hairstyle, y'all. Look at how intricate this is. The twist in the top knot bun. And usually, I'm not a girl who likes the top knot bun. But because she, like, did something with it. Like, she did these little, like, twists and stuff. And, like... It's not, like, the only hairstyle. I'm content with it. Like, I'm not okay. Like, it's fine. Like, it's, it makes it what it is. Like, it looks good here. Look at how darling she is. You can't... Oh, obviously, she's not going to focus, because why would she? But, like... Oh, my God. She's so cute. She, her finger... What is this pose? Hello? She's just, like, grabbing ya. Like, the other ones have, like, peace signs and, like, this thing. And she's just like, I'm here. Here's my... My pose is I'm going to grab your face. My my pose is I'm grabbing that drink on your counter or something. I don't know what this is. How, what are you doing? Where's her artwork at? Because I'm confused now. There's literally... This is literally nothing on here about, like, what her pose is. She's just kind of, like, there. What am I doing with your hands? Like, I'm- now I'm angry. Like, what do I do with- okay. Her brain- something just fell off. Her earring fell off. What is- I, okay, whatever. We're gonna move on. It's time to rip out this one's head. Um, if y'all were a non-doll collector, like, you would be so confused. Like, if someone is, like, in the background of this video, and they just hear me saying, I love tween- oh my god. I love the tween's doll line, and, um, I'm ripping off doll heads. They would think I'm psychotic, but it- it, it makes sense. So I'm a doll collector, I think. I think it makes... I hope it makes sense. As I ruin this doll's hairstyle. Because they packaged her hair poorly in here. It's a knot coming. I love being careful with my dolls. Mind you, I'm a doll collector. I love ripping their heads out of... Oh, her hair's so cute, though. Her hair... I did mess it up a little bit. Look at her. Okay, I, I do have to take these. Oh, let me put them back on. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh my god. She does. Okay. She, I will say she does remind me of the happier than ever Billie Eilish era. I don't know how to describe it. I think it might just be because she's white and has like kind of blondish hair. But like this is like kind of Billie Eilish to me a little bit. The, the ends, I did rip her out of the box. But I also, she does have some 
interesting ends. She does something that needs, like, a little wash, but this head's really good as well. Ooh, this one's really good. You know what I might do, actually, Loki? If this body matches, I'm just gonna take this... Wait, do they have the same skin tone? They don't have the same skin tone. Why would they have the same skin tone? I was gonna say, I'm just gonna, like, leave both these heads, like, the, this, the Winnie head off and, like, give this one a body, which I could still do. I mean, they're not, like, too crazy. Like, this one's just more, um... Uh, who am I looking at? Wait, maybe they, uh, maybe I could switch the, because I want to give this one, I want to give this one a body. No, her, she's much more warm, she's too warm toned for it. Why would they do that? And her shoe fell off again. Ugh, but this one has like a really good face. I'm going to put the, the head on the right body. Um, again, if you did not understand, if it, without context of this, you would be so confused of what I'm talking about. I'm putting the head on the right body, like... Hello. She just looks like a choker. Okay, whoa. This <gasps> Wait, her choker is like more. This is a this video is a mess, y'all. I'm so sorry. I apologize because uh, usually I'm a little bit better than this, but like I'm just excited. Oh, she's so cute. She's adorable. Look at her. Her hair again. Her hair is a mess. Um, I'm excited to kind of give some conditioner to this, and um, a hairnet would be really really beneficial. I'm gonna be super careful of these bangs, but like this is a really pretty doll. Oh my god. What? Loki, I would be tempted to get a double of this doll just so this head could get a little place on us. But this is amazing. Look at the... Y'all, okay, y'all, walk with me. I'm standing up for this. Look at the hearts in the eyes. Look at the the little, like, kind of, like, giving y'all, like, E.T., like, break free Ariana Grande. And look at the long... Again, like, once this is combed out, y'all, like, I promise y'all, like, I have a vision in mind. Like, these curls are all gonna be, like, curled up nicely. And, like, it's long... And it's juicy and her outfit's kind of giving. I know this outfit, like, can transform into something. I think you could just take the skirt off. And that's the transformation part. I think that's literally just it. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't think this doll has that much of a transformation piece. But, like, I think she definitely needs to be restyled. I don't think this outfit fully goes with her vibe. I think the green has nothing to kind of match with it. And her bracelet fall- well, all the bracelets are falling off. I'm not picking it up either, which is crazy. But, like, oh, she's so juicy! I wish they sold fashion packs for these ones as well. I feel like uh, there's a lot of other heads as well in this line, like the single heads, and they just don't have any clothes to really match with them. I wish we had a, more of a vibe for her. Or I wish they just sold bodies with, like, the fashion packs or something more. I mean, that would be very nickel and diming us. It's like, here's the head and here's the body. Buy them separately. But I would buy them both if the doll is this good. Like, the concept here, there's a concept here, and I want to see more of it. Let's have more accessories as well, but I don't really care to open them right now. She probably has a stand in here. Are, the, are the, all the stands clear? This stand is also like a clear like white. This one was pink. The stand base is clear. But we're going to open up the last one. Um, and then we'll go. We'll open up the accessories on my desk. But I don't think y'all need to see, see like, here's a scrunchie. Here's a hair clip. Here's the brush. Because we're all adults here, hopefully. This I think I'm, yeah, this is the channel's adults for now. This is an adult channel from now on, I think. I mean, should I say that? I don't know. We're just kind of here, right? Y'all are here. Y'all know the vibes. We're getting into Miss Cora, though. I'm excited for this one as well. I'm really excited for the spare head. I'm also hopeful that the actual, like, base, like, the stock head looks good, too, because I could see myself really enjoying the stock head. Once you, like, get, like, the curls to be washed out, I guess I could tell. Her hair right now is already kind of, like, just box. It was crunchy. It can, it's already kind of boxy hair, because, like, I got, um jams from the omg series 8 and her hair took like a week to like kind of like fluff out so i could tell this one's gonna kind of be because like when you curly hair against a flat box it's not gonna be as nice as it can be once it's all fluffed out and judged out so she's gonna already need some work but her vibe is kind of fun she's giving like very like freddy frat is that what that is five nights at freddy's 80s themed i think it's 80s themed it's giving very like freddy frazbear like Chuck E. cheese like 80s disco diner tea like I really love like the vibe of her she's again obviously very 80s very like crazy colors I'm kind of obsessed with it honestly now that she's out of that the glaring box I'm kind of obsessed with the colors oh and this head is so juicy licious like look at how good it is look at how good this is I wish this was an omg doll if this was an omg doll y'all I would be out of my i'd be doing back flips in my bed right now if this is like a full-size omg doll like i love like it looks so like i don't like it's just so good it's so good like it's it's modern but it's also like it's it's so juicy it's kind of kesha if you if you're like crazy but it's also like nikki but it's i don't want it to be nikki i'm not gonna claim that oh my god 
I'm so excited. Uh, probably should not be doing that with scissors in my hand, but who cares? Do y'all have all the tween? Okay, like, let me know, like, what are y'all thoughts on these tweens so far? Like, do you guys have any, like, current impressions of these? Like, this wave? Did you guys get any of them? Do y'all want, like, if, okay. T, would y'all have wanted this to be, like, an OMG line? Or do you, are y'all happy that it's an, a tweens line? Because, again, for me, I personally lost. I like the, the, tw the OMGs a lot, lot, lot more. But ever since, like, again, I don't know what it is. I think I got, since I got, like... I don't know what it's been, but recently I've been kind of, again, in my little, my, like, mini doll era bag, like, my tweens have been kind of rocking my world a little bit, like, I really have been, that's, again, sentence sounds crazy out of context, but, like, I've been really into, like, the Olivia Flutter girl and, like, Darcy Blush have been, like, my main girls right now, um, yeah, this hair is crunchy, and it looks like this, but, um, I'm sure, again, it could be fixed with, oh, but your hair is so good, once it's, like, Ew, it looks kind of like, I don't love, it looks like a mullet, but like, I have a mullet too, so it's fine. Um, it just needs, it has product. Like, it's weird, because like, this one out of the box has like, no product in her hair, and she's like, a, a very elaborate like, bow done. This one just has curls in her hair, and there's like, it's like, defying gravity right now, and not in a way that I want it to. Like, it's just like, everywhere, but where it should be. Um, and like, there's more hair, like, okay, wait, can I get in a tea real quick? There's, like, more hair in this little bubble than there is in, like, this part of her head. And, like, it's making me a little bit uncomfortable. Like, there's just, like, a lot of hair here and there's, like, not that much, like, supporting it. It'll, again, it'll even out as time goes on. As I, I'm gonna actually wash this doll. Like, I'm gonna hold myself accountable because lately I've been so lazy when it comes to washing new dolls. I just don't do it. But I'm gonna wash her. I'm gonna do it probably later. Maybe I'll do it after this video. Maybe I'll do it after I'm done opening them. And then I'll... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, sure, hair. So look at her little hands. Little peace signs. Uh, she had two little peace signs. She's ready. She's ready for the party. I think this also, this little skirt comes off as well. Yeah. We're, we're here for the, the, the party dolls. I kind of like this outfit a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. Oh, and the little tights are, so, like, the tights on the tweens are crazy because they're so tiny. Like, they're tiny dolls. Like, and it's, like, detailed crazy if y'all see me start screaming crying peeing it's because it's time to open this doll's head i'm so excited I, i'm here i've been ready for this moment i'm gonna just rip her out i'm gonna take her out of it okay oh. <laughs> I, I win yeah she also has more accessories which i low-key don't care that much about to be honest i care about the stand I don't know, like, I, I don't, I think my opinions on, like, plastic hair accessories are just, like, it's, when it works, it works, when it doesn't, it doesn't, and I only know if it works if it's, if I see it, and I have to see it to believe it sometimes, um, and even then, sometimes, like, Monster High plastic hair accessories just, like, don't do it for me anymore. After, like, dealing with, like, OMG and, like, the quality of, like, some, like, the, like, the, like, the, I mean, plastic hair, they're fine, I'm so dramatic, y'all, I, plastic hair accessories are fine, I just don't care about, like, doing it all the time what am i but my my point here is i just don't care sometimes but um yeah i'm sure they'll be fine let me take this one's head off actually and um ooh, her her necklace flew across the room but let's get into my girl let's get into my girl yeah uh, yeah yeah look at this like like they styled the bow like what do you like i get that they had to like make a plastic bow but like when you have one styled like you don't even need this like you have this and she looks so juicy, delicious. <gasps> this mug goes crazy. And the outfit goes crazier. I mean, I, I don't know if I like the tie. There's something wrong with, like, the ankle kind of thing going on here. But, like, she's just so adorable. Okay, out of all these... Okay, there's... <laughs> out of all the dolls today... <laughs> Out of all the dolls today, which one's your favorite? Who has the best hair? Who has the best outfit? Let me find her head. Let me find someone's head. There's just heads everywhere. This is a mess. <laughs> Y'all, I can't take anything seriously. Like, I'm just so not serious. Oh, wait. Also, there's Sasha. Sasha was open today. Out of all the dolls, who's your favorite? <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna say, honestly, this one, maybe? Or this one? Or, I mean, obviously, Sasha is gonna win, but, like... These two, I think, are really, really good. Again, we're gonna go 
at my desk, take a closer look at these dolls and get y'all all the good details and like the how, like show y'all how I show y'all normally. But um, yeah, I am so happy to open these dolls with y'all. I've had so much fun so far and I'm excited to clean up because there's packaging everywhere. One thing about these dolls, look like any MGA product, or any doll in general, like no amount of the brand, there's gonna be doll packaging everywhere. I'm gonna be stepping on ties for the next four days until I get like enough motivation to bring the vacuum up to clean up all the plastic ties. But um, yeah, let's go clean up a little bit and I'll see y'all at my desk. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about these dolls so far. They all have been really promising. And again, I've got them on sale, so I can't be like, they're the best dolls ever because I didn't pay the full retail price for them. But like for how much I paid for these, I'm already very, very happy with them. They all have stands, they all have wrist articulation, they all have really, really fun concepts, and they all have really quality pieces. And yeah, so let me wrap this up and I'll meet you guys in just a second. And we are back at the desk. We're starting off with Miss Sasha first and then the tweens because she has like the less amount of accessories and stuff. So she'll be easier to go over. Um, Sasha comes with her pet bunny boo, which is a flocked little pet. Um, there's some hair on it, of course, because it kind of fell all over. But it's a really cute little bunny. I love, love, love my um, Chloe's pig thing. It is super cute. She does also have a reversible kind of baby blanket, which is blue and orange on one side. And then Miss Sasha herself is adorable. I am truly obsessed. She has these giant cute eyes very plump lips and her hair is so darling and so cutesy patootsy you could take these out obviously and then put them back in if you guys want it's like one of the gimmicks i like her little earrings her outfit is also again very bunny boo um fabric clothes on a mini doll really nice i love the painted nails and it is really cute with the chain again the brats babies are pretty self-explanatory for what they are they all kind of have like the same diaper crop top kind of thing going on um, but Sasha's just really, really pretty and really, really nice. Like, again, the blushing on this baby doll, amazing. Bratz will never, ever, never be topped. But yeah, that was Sasha. Again, quick doll. Let's look at the other ones. And now we're back with the tweens. So there is a lot of stuff on the desk already, if you can kind of tell. These dolls all come with a lot, and I feel like I didn't realize that when I was unboxing them. But, like, once I was getting all this stuff out of the boxes and, like, in those little, like, like these little, like, like cube things, like... There's so much in there, and I just kind of forgot about it, because they got, again, they got my Bailey one, I guess, um, months ago. Um, so, I'm going to take a quick look, I guess, at some of them. So, the first one is obviously the prom one. Um, like, and, like up close, she's very, very pretty. She comes with these little, like, clips. They all have, like, two extra little clip things, and I will, I'm will. i scared to lose them, so I'm going to put them all in this little caboodle that they also come with. Really cute. Um, she does have some little scrunchy hair ties as well. Some other kind of fun hair ties, um, and then a couple other accessories, but we can put these all in there. So I'll have the combs, which is kind of standard along with the stand. Um, again, this face is very Katy Perry to me. Um, the details up close are very, very, very pretty, and like there is another dress under there. Um, you can also, I want to do the little sash thing really quickly, because I did see this on like the Twitter, and, or like the, um, one of the TikToks they did. It's like a little sash. I mean, I guess that's just like the doll design, but like I thought it was really cool. Um, it's like a plastic thing. So she's like the prom queen or whatever. I even put the little crown on her. So she really did win something. I don't know what she won, but yeah, that's fun. And then this girl's second look, I put like the bow accessory on, which is kind of just a pink little pearly plastic bow. And then the dress under it is kind of one of the most transformative pieces, I think, out of all the dolls. They all have a piece that you can take on and take off. And um, this is like a full on other dress. It's very sparkly, very pretty. It's more of like a party dress. And it's really, really cute. So um, that is, again... The second head on the first body. Here's the first head. Um, she's really, really pretty as well. I think I'm going to probably keep this one on display and then put this one in storage or something because I like this hair blend a little bit better. Um, and she's just really, really pretty. She also has some little pearl earrings. Very, very cute doll. Um, and then here's, again, like a better close-up of her card, which is really, really, really cute. Next up is Miss Cora. This is obviously the stock head. Um, I kind of chose to leave this one on. She has these little... Um, clip things party in xoxo um her comb color she does have the blue stand and she is really pretty like again up close i love 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 the hair the makeup's really fun she has like these like lone star earring mold that was kind of reused this outfit is very fun and i love like the little like painted on um fingernails i think again they look really cute but like specifically with like the peace sign is really really fun this outfit is again very 80s inspired and you take off the skirt and then bam it is kind of it is kind of giving y'all a uh, second outfit kind of moment tea some lightning bolt like heels um it's just really really cute and then her other accessories to put in her caboodle are obviously the um clips which i again i will lose so we're gonna put those there she has some blue kind of bobbles which is really fun um some yellow kind of lightning bolt uh thingies 
And I think that's all to put in here. We do have, again, some other, like, accessories, which is really fun, like a crown kind of thing, I guess. Here is the little bow. And then here is the little crown. It is really, really cute. Again, this is my favorite head, though, is her second one. I love the neon colors. And it looks really, really, really pretty on camera and in person. Um, and she's crimped little hair. I love this head. And then again, here is the card up close. Really fun. Our final tween for today is Miss Billy. That's what her card says. This doll is, again, the second head. And it looks so cute. She has, like, a white stand. Um really pretty and her eyebrows are very light which i like a lot i like this head a lot again the hair is kind of needs some tlc um but it's a really cute style and i'm really appreciative of that i love again the face this outfit doesn't really go along with this doll i will say um so maybe i'll change the heads really quick just for her because i really can't get into the head with the outfit like i feel like the other ones like i can kind of pass it off and stuff but like this one i feel like the hair head is very specific to this outfit so this is again the first outfit head i love this hairstyle so much the makeup is also really really cute here and then her outfit is more again obviously t tailored to her and her hair color i think um and like the outfit gimmick with this is you can take the skirt off i think it is so like this little tutu can maybe come off does it come off oh yeah you have to like slide it off which is, like, fine, but, um, that's that, that's the outfit change, it's not, again, as transformative as, I think, um, Winnie's, or, honestly, even Quora's is more transformative than this, but it's still cute, I still like the details, to be honest, like, these heels, oh my god, they're so good, like, the detailing on this, these pants is really, really nice, like, the lace is really, really cool, it's very high quality, again, for how much I paid for this doll, um, I just wish it was a little bit more exciting, because I feel like the box, it was, like, this big look and then she's just like kind of here um and then her other accessories are is like a blue caboodle kind of thing she has some white little heart clips um pink kind of shimmery baubles and her hair ties are just little like gems um and i like that they all fit in these little caboodles again i think it's a really cute little um aspect of play and everything her other head accessories are this little like cat bow thing which i think honestly fits a lot better with this one i think that's how it's advertised so, like, ooh, maybe not. It doesn't really fit the hairstyle. Um, but I think you can put it on just, like, a headband. Because it is just a headband, like, duh. And then she does have the crown, which I'm going to keep on mine, to be honest. Because I like how it fits under the, um, the twists. Look at how cute she is with the little crown. I'm obsessed. And, yeah, this is her little card. Again, really, really fun. Really cute. But bringing the girls all back together, this is kind of the, um, f all the dolls from today's video. It was really, really fun to kind of go open these dolls with you guys, review them a little bit, and give all my thoughts and all my feelings. I think all these dolls are really, really cool. Um, but let me know in the comments below, do you guys have any of these dolls in your current collection? Do you guys want any of these dolls in your current collection? And have you guys gotten any dolls recently on sale? I am obsessed with sales, and I'm super happy. Again, $7, $8 each for all these dolls, like, individually is really really nice and again i think sasha was really really priced fairly i do love the brats babies they're always fun to kind of have in my collection and i am excited to get more in the future but for now thank you guys so 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 much for watching today's video it was again a lot of fun with you guys and i cannot wait to catch all though in the next one love you guys all endlessly and i'll see you very very soon love you bye bye everybody